<laughs> oh my god, look at this. <laughs> DC Comics is dying and they're not even choosing to die with dignity. Welcome to Comic Artist Pro Secrets. My name is Ethan Van Skyver, 27 year veteran of the comic book industry. Uh, now before we get into this video, and I, I cannot wait to explore this madness. Uh, but before we do, would you consider taking a minute and looking at Rainbow the Brute? That's my new Indiegogo campaign for uh, my new comic book. Uh, I'd appreciate your support. Now, if you can't back uh, that, if you can't do that, uh, maybe you could hit like uh, on this video, share this video, subscribe to this channel. I need your help to push back against the very deliberate and ominous suppression of YouTube channels like mine. Um, it's, it's like a conspiracy, isn't it? Why do they not want us to laugh at this? Why? You would think that they would want us to laugh at this at a time uh, like this in history, but no, they don't. They want to silence us. So uh, we need to fight back against this together. And thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. This channel is growing by leaps and bounds. Now, <clears throat> let me muster up some dignity for you guys for this per uh, particular performance here. Mariko Tamaki, okay? Uh, she is a, a YA author. She was hired um, by DC Comics to produce this right here several months ago now i don't know for sure but i'm going to take you know what i'm going to risk a guess and that guess is that she was hired about four or five months ago back when uh at&t was doing its first bloodbath back before uh when it when it uh fired most of its editorial staff the first 20 percent now when they did that they uh took the editor-in-chief position which was now uh, evacuated by uh, Bob Harris, and they divided it between two women. They gave uh, they gave the editor in chief job to two ladies, one whose name uh, was Marie Javins, and Marie Javins she was going to do the stuff that we're used to, okay, the superhero comic books. But then they hired this other woman named Michelle Wells, who was going to introduce AT and T, DC Comics, Time Warner's first uh, batch of YA novels, YA young adult novels, meant to appeal. Uh, to a new demographic of 13 year old girl. I don't know who this is. For. I gotta be honest. I, do, I don't know who this is for. I'm not really sure. Okay, I'm not really sure who this is for. But uh, presumably it's for 13 year old, 14, 15 year old girls. Uh, that's the uh, target market. Uh, now, um, since then, and fairly recently, Michelle Wells was fired, meaning that these books kind of probably came out the first round of them. Uh, and uh, nobody bought them, and they were probably returnable, and DC Comics was horrified, uh, fired Michelle Wells, but they've still got all this stuff that's kind of uh, backed up. They're going to be releasing it slowly, uh, and uh, they already paid for it. They might as well, I guess. I don't know. I, I Honestly, I would hide this stuff, uh, but uh, this is one of those. This is the new attitude of DC Comics. This is the new attitude of DC Comics, and boy, is it. Holy cow. Uh, all right, so uh, Mariko Tamaki, someone who I don't know, uh, said, Ah, ah, I can finally share the cover for my new DC Comics graphic novel uh, with the amazing Yoshi Squared. I don't know who that is either. Uh, and there's a link here to a Bleeding Cool article. Uh, it says, Meet Starfire's uh, gay goth daughter Mandy uh, in I Am Not Starfire, the Y-A-O-G-N. O-G-N stands for Original Graphic Novel. This is Starfire. Starfire is a beautiful uh, member of the Teen Titans. I mean, curvaceous, lovely, feminine, um, just uh, the stuff of dreams. And apparently, uh, she had uh, sexual intercourse and produced uh, this. This was her uh, quote unquote. Not, not to be mean, but this was her. This was her drop. Okay. This is this is what fell out of her uterus. Uh, this angry-looking uh, dumpling here. Uh, came from this. It seems unlikely, does it not? It seems kind of strange. Uh, also, she looks to be a teenager, which would make Starfire uh, in her 40s. In her 40s. She doesn't look like a 40-year-old. Uh, all right, so this is a, a New York Times best-selling author, Mariko Tamaki, uh, who has uh, been given the keys to DC Comics characters. Uh, uh, they're happy, bright, optimistic characters. And this is, uh, this is, what, this is the message... This is the message that she would like to send uh, to the world. Let me see uh, what she is saying here. I Am Not Starfire was one of DC uh, YA graphic novels announced back in 2019. Oh, so it was a long... My God, they planned this for a long time. Uh, okay, we might as well get this off the dockets as quickly as possible. Written by Marika 
Mariko Tamaki, uh, drawn by Yoshi Yoshitani. We now have a date, a description, and a cover. Oh, my goodness. August 10th, 2021. Um... And a better idea of who this person who is not Starfire might might be. Her name is Mandy, Starfire's daughter, who appears to be a bit of a a pill. Uh, she looks to be um, an overeater. Uh, she looks to be angry about something. She looks to be into self-harm. Uh, I am worried about her. I do not know what it is about Starfire's parenting um, that has led to this. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. All right, let me read this, the, the description here. From New York Times, best-selling author Mariko Tamaki, Lar and this is uh, she did a couple of books here, uh, and another artist here, comes a story about Mandy, the daughter of super-famous superhero Starfire. It really sounds like this person knows everything uh, about Starfire. Super-famous superhero Starfire. And her attempts, her desperate attempts to get out from under her shadow. 17-year-old Mandy Coriander is not her mother. Is Coriander a last name for Starfire? I, I don't think it is. Daughter of Starfire and high school outcast, Mandy is constantly trying to get out from under the shadow of her bright, bubbly, scantily clad and famous mother. She sounds great. Dyeing her bright orange hair black and sticking close to her best friend Lincoln, Mandy spends her days at school avoiding Teen Titans superfans and trying to hide her feelings for her gorgeous, popular, and perfect Claire. And while Mandy usually avoids spending too much time with her alien mother, she's been particularly quiet as she's keeping one major secret from her. Mandy walked out of her SAT. While Mandy continues to tell Lincoln her plans of moving to France to escape the family spotlight and not go to college, she secretly hides a fear of not knowing her secret identity outside of just being the daughter of a superhero and who she will become. But when she is partnered with Claire to work on a school project, their friendship develops into something more, and a self-confidence unknown to Mandy begins to bloom. Of course she's gay. Of course she is. That's, uh, that is every character now in comics uh, is gay. Uh, or trans or something. Of course. Uh, that's just uh, that's a given. But when someone from Starfire's past comes to disrupt Mandy's future... Ooh, I mean, who could it be? I hope it's Deathstroke. I do hope it's Deathstroke. Uh, Mandy must finally make a choice. Give up before the battle has even begun, or step into the unknown and risk everything. I am not Starfire. It's a story about mother-daughter relationships, embracing where you come from and finding your own identity, and learning to be unafraid of failing. Uh, even if, uh, wait, if it was even failing in the first, it was, it was, this is, uh, this is a failure on everybody's part here. Uh, this is, this is an, an image of failure. Uh, it is this child's failure. Uh, it is this mother's failure. Uh, it is DC Comics failure. Uh, it would be Mariko, uh, Mariko Tamaki's failure to produce something that anybody would ever want to read. Uh, this, uh, this reeks of failure. Uh, but who am I to judge? Now, why? Where did this image come from? Why would Starfire have a daughter that looks like this? That I do not understand. Uh, you know, this is a this is a character like who who is the father? Oswald Cobblepot? Who f Starfire and made this? Who did it? Why would it look like this? Let me see what Mariko Tamaki looks like, just out of curiosity. Oh, oh, I, oh, you don't say. Oh, you don't say. I I'm starting to see. Wait a second here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you don't say. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> I guess. Look, I mean, I guess writing a comic means you get to write yourself into it. That's fine. Well, surely everyone in comics is probably horrified by this. Uh, everyone in comics is probably looking at this uh, with scorn and derision, right? Uh, no, wrong. I mean, this is uh, uh, SJW Comics. Uh, these, are, these are the cheerleaders of failure. Uh, and despair. By the way, this is a profoundly negative and depressing book. Is this really the message uh, that DC Comics wants to send to young ladies? To just hate your mother? If your mother's more popular, if she's the center of attention, uh, you are to become this. You're to resent your mother. You're to uh, wear black lipstick and repel people. Uh, um, this is amazing. This is this is like amazing. It's like awesome. Yes, this looks so good. Oh my gosh, so cool. I both of your works, so I don't know what that means. All right, so we got more people here. Look at this. It's so beautiful. Uh, everyone is so excited about this. I wonder if any of them are going to buy it. 
time. <laughs> All these people are so excited. SJWs just want this stuff to exist. None of them uh, are going to support this. None of them are going to buy this uh, at all. And here's Rich Johnson, uh, who wrote the article. Uh, who is the father? That question goes unanswered. Again, I think it was the penguin. Uh, this looks incredible. Congrats. And I can't wait to buy this for my niece. You don't have your own kids? I see. Uh, I look forward to seeing how this turns out. I do too. That would be my comment. I do look forward to seeing how this turns out myself. Uh, let's see. I wonder how many people were consulted coming up with the character design because while I adore the art style, it doesn't scream Starfire's daughter. I, I've got to agree. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, uh, the art is very nice, uh, but it doesn't really look like Starfire's daughter. How many teenage daughters intentionally look uh, like their mother, says Rich Johnson? Well, when their mother is a big, famous rock star, uh, or movie star, or a celebrity, or a superhero, probably most well-adjusted daughters would attempt to uh, evoke uh, that image. Uh, unless they hate their mother. Unless they're actually filled with hatred for their mother. Uh, in which case, I want to know why Starfire uh, is hated. Here's uh, Gabriel Piccolo, who has not fulfilled his Indiegogo campaign for Icarus and the Sun yet. He's very excited for this. Uh, and let me see who else is uh, responsible for this. <laughs> Joe Glass. This looks so very cool. <laughs> All right, Joe Glass. By the way, we were talking about Joe Glass the other day because uh, Zach, uh, your boy Zach from uh, Comics Matter with your boy Zach, great YouTube channel. You should subscribe to it. He said, uh, have you noticed that soy boys aren't doing the great big open mouth smile uh, anymore? And I said, yeah, I have noticed that. He's like, when did that stop? And I said, I think it must have been PewDiePie. Uh, and he agrees. It's like, I think PewDiePie shaming this particular gentleman, Joe Glass here. Uh, you know, he uh, PewDiePie actually showed a famous picture of this man uh, with his mouth wide open doing the soiling grin. Uh, and he quickly, <laughs> this guy changed his uh, avatar. Uh, and, you know, what can I tell you? People are doing a, a lot less of, that's the power of PewDiePie. Uh, there are a lot fewer soiling grins on the internet. And for that, thank you so much, Pewds. So uh, this is where we are right now. This is uh, DC Comics uh, in 2020, going into 2021. Uh, this is the message that we are sending. Uh, we hate our parents. Uh, we hurt ourselves. Uh, we repel. We repel people, deliberately try to repel people. Uh, we overeat. <laughs> we dress like monsters. Uh, and that's all in response to... Uh, rejecting positivity, uh, maybe jealousy, maybe attention-seeking. Uh, this is what we want to tell kids. And again, we can tell kids whatever we want. And this is the magic of comics. We can send children any mes message that we want to send them with the stories that we create, right? That's, that's the power of art. Why are we sending them this message? <laughs> why? Because, because why? Because this exists in the world? Uh, I, I don't necessarily think that, you know... Uh, this thing here, uh, being gay, uh, should lead to uh, this kind of uh, scowling, ugly sneer. Uh, but then again, when you are writing yourself into your own comic book, I guess anything goes. Thanks, everybody. Please do subscribe to this channel. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Is it the end times yet? Where are the four horsemen of the apocalypse? I I'm waiting to hear their gallops at this point. Uh, I really am. Uh, Any time now, God... Any time, end, end this planet. Uh, we've, we had a good run. Uh, all right, like, subscribe, leave me comments below. I'll read them all. I always do. I read all your comments. And I'll see you again soon with another video. Hey, I got a P.O. Box. Want to send me some mail? Send it to Ethan Van Skyver. P.O. Box 607, Marlton, New Jersey, 08053. And I'll probably open it up on the live stream. Thanks very much, everyone. Hey, you want to follow me on Twitter? Are you sure? Well, if so, I'm at Ethan Van Skyver. That's at Ethan Van Skyver. See you there.